STV, votre télé. Six Anglophone detainees have been served jail terms by the Yaoundé military court as a trial of those arrested within the context of the socio-political upheavals in the northwest and southwest regions of the country continues. Weba Bruno, Tayo Levite and Euphorian Eugene were each hammered 13 years imprisonment. Bayan Eugene and Godlof known for God 12 years, while Lopte Jacob was served 11 years. The presiding judge found them guilty of various charges including, but not limited to secession, terrorism, incitement to civil war, group rebellion, and non-possession of the national identity card. They are to jointly pay a fine of 893,000 francs CFE or get an additional 9 months jail term each. Earlier, the same court had sentenced Pen Terence Khan to 12 years imprisonment with 5 million francs CFE as damages to the court. Benjamin Che and Andrew Ambieze were each given 11 years. The detainees have so far challenged the conduct of their trial, insisting the charges on them are trumped up. Close to 10 lawyers are presently working on the case of Manchu BBC, whose verdict is expected late Wednesday. A perfect cohabitation between dirt, running water, and man. The Makaya neighborhood in the Douala 2 municipality is just one of those areas one could be tempted to call a mosquito pub. Water passing across carries along dirt littered around, not leaving out toilet dump. Yeah, throw the mustic. Throw the mustic. On the permanent said the Persons living in this area say preventing mosquito bites is very difficult, especially during the day. This dirty water serves as a reproductive area for mosquitoes, but no one seems worried. To some parents, antispiral sprays and mosquito nets are not enough to protect even the little ones. They admit the mixture of garbage and dirty water is not appropriate but remain positive over a slow change of hygiene and sanitary conditions. Uh, today we say this uh, whole malaria day, I will confirm that uh, the effort engaged by the government start to have good results. During the last year, only 10% of population registered uh, uh, malaria cases in the hospitals. What we had 
3,000 deaths. It's a more important, but uh, we appreciate that it's a 12 percent of death that we register in the health facilities. Then you have to continue to maintain efforts because in this global you have 1,900 uh, deaths concerning vulnerable infants under five years. The main actions I will precise it's important to continue to sleep under the store bed nets. That's why the Cameroon with partner will produce to engage the third mass campaign free of charge of more 40 billion. 14 billion bed necks during next next uh, year 2019. Optimal access to new technologies in the field of radiology is the chosen theme for the 14th Radiologist Day in Francophone Africa, which has opened in Douala this April 25. You know, uh, Congress like this has main objectives. The first objective is training. Training. Usual training, continuous training. Because we have to be update of all what happened in our field regularly. The second objective is to up upgrade the level of nursing, of treatment and diagnosis we can give to our patient. But to do that, we have to acquire some new equipment. Because using old equipment leads you to bad diagnosis. Participants attending the four-day capacity building 14th radiology day are upbeat ripping new ideas that could help them excel in their profession and better serve their patients in the area of doppler ultrasound or doppler sonography so there are some new innovations that they have come into play and uh, we have been exposed to that uh, to the new innovation so that is why we are learning here and uh, the seminar is quite enriching. So we hope that, and I hope that what I will get from here, I will take it back to the areas where I work in Bamenda and uh, to reach out to the rural masses. Experts drawn from France, Belgium, Canada, and Switzerland will use the four-day event to school the over 300 participants on how to better adapt themselves to modern technologies in their profession.
Modalities for the construction and rehabilitation of access roads to stadia, hotels and hospitals in Douala, one of the venues of the 2019 African Cup of Nations, have been examined and adopted in a meeting Wednesday chaired by Litwa Governor Samuel Dodone Ibaha Diboa, President of the Douala Local Organizing Committee of the Continental Showpiece. Don't. Notre job, c'est de savoir. Our presence is to see whether these facilities are accessible and if traffic flow will be fluid in Douala during the African Cup of Nations. A delegation from the Ministry of Urban Development and Housing, led by the Chief of Missions, has to this effect held talks with the contracting companies concerned, as well as local organizing officials in which the outlined projects have been evaluated and prescriptions given on how they ought to be executed. Tous les travaux de la CAN doivent être livrés au plus tard. All projects for the African Cup of Nations must be delivered latest December 2018. The hierarchy has made this clear and everybody must follow these instructions. Contracting companies have been informed and all necessary measures have been taken to execute the projects on time. One of the biting hindrances to the smooth execution of these projects is the illegal occupation and expropriation of the portions earmarked. Some lands have been surrendered and work has already begun. For the rest, measures are being taken to ensure they are vacated on time for the project to start. We learned works on the access road to the Japoma Sports Complex will be handled by a Turkish and Cameroonian firm on two lots. The first, constitute the construction of a direct road to the stadium on a 2,800-meter linear dimension. And the second is the creation of a parking lot towards the Dibamba area on a 24-hectare piece of land, accommodating 6,000 vehicles. STV, votre délai.